Hello, lovely people. This is Creative Ends Platform. You are welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk about the uh, fascinator which we make using mats. The material I use in molding this fascinator is called mats. And the uh, mold you saw there, that's the shape I just I used to create this fascinator i have some videos on how to mold this fascinator so if you're interested in it you'll find them in my channel okay uh, so this fascinator i just molded the mat so i did not add color sometimes when i do my work like this as i begin to design i choose the colors i want to use and then I will wrap it. So what the work I'm actually doing today is going is going to be a work that I will be wrapping. And to do that, I will use the USU glue to do that. I, I will still use hot glue as well. So there are some parts I use the USU glue, and then there are some other parts that I will just simply use the hot glue. For this part that is deep. I prefer using the USU glue. Okay, in case you are concerned about the material, the material I'm using inside this now is a scuba material, just that it's not the thick one. It's not that thick. It's called scuba material, black, and it's not that thick. Over here in my place, they call it a shining face polo material so that's what i'm using and then so after making sure that this bottom is well seated you can see how flat is looking it's just like i molded the material with it you know so one easy way to actually cover your mat is to mold it add the material to it while molding but i did not do so so sometimes when i did not use the material in molding i wrap it so this is how i go about wrapping and sometimes we also buy some already molded that's the shape like this in the market and you might not get the color you are looking for i don't know if you've ever had such experience before maybe you want to work on yellow and all the a uh, cap that you are seeing in the market is either black, red, blue, and you needed a yellow by all means. It's not supposed to stress you. You are just supposed to buy any color and then use your material to cover it. You understand? So that's the essence of this video. Assuming you need to work on something and you could not get that color, what do you do? You use your material to wrap so the easiest way i wrap is that i use the uhu glue combining it with the hot glue okay so to continue with my fascinator class i'll be adding the art wire at wire after uh, i complete this the wrapping of the inside now when i add the art wire to it i'll simply use needle and thread to sew it round so so that i will be very sure that the wire is well seated and will not have a way of you know pulling off or you know this edge you join together if you don't do it well it will have a way of coming out in your fascinator and sometimes i've seen some work before it will uh, disfigure the shape of that uh, fascinator base so what i normally do is that i'll first of all use uh, a i'll first of all tie the wire together maybe using a uh, cello tape after which i'll fix it into the fascinator and then i will uh, sew it using my needle and train so what i'm doing now you can i told you i combined both the usu and the hot glue so i used the hot glue to do the finishing at the edge but i used the usu glue to sit it down you understand 
I sit it down with the UHU glue, but I did the finishing with the hot glue. So it's a thing of choice. But for a, a good work, you need the UHU and the hot glue. So you can see how the inside is. The inside of this fascinator is already looking very beautiful. It's well seated. The materials are well seated on it. So before I will wrap the back, before I will wrap the back, I will quickly uh, fix the wire. So if you look at the cap very well now, you see that you are seeing a black thread. That's because I have used the thread to fix the wire to the edge of the base. Then I will now wrap. Now, uh, why is necessary to attach the wire is that uh, it helps to keep your cap standing, you know, because this work, they are molded work. You need something to secure your shape. And that's just where the wire comes in. All right. So now I am wrapping the top. I used two different materials to wrap the top. The first material you see me using here is a lining. The lining. All right. You might wonder why I should use lining. The reason I'm using lining is because the mat I'm wrapping is... Uh, Ash color mat is not a black mat. So if it's a black mat, I will simply uh, go ahead to just use my sequence. But because is this ash color or oh, is this silver? It's not silver. It's ash color uh, mat. So because it is ash, if I just place the sequence on it, I might not get the dark color I'm looking for. It might want to like show some part of because you know that the sequence is not um, too thick. When you drag sequence too much, it has this hole in between it. Except they are using the suede sequence. The sequence I'm using is the net sequence. So because of that, I had to first of all use lining to base the 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 fascinator before attaching the sequence to it. So. The way I'm molding or wrapping this now is the same process I will use to wrap the sequence. So in case I do not repeat it, you should know that I did not repeat it because I have shown you at this point already. All right. So I will just use the sequence on top of this now. So it's a net sequence and I really want to get my work to be really black. I don't want anything reflecting the ash under it. So because of that, I first of all base it using uh, lining. So straight away, I will, for me to cut the needed sequence, one, you can measure with your tape or you can just like do it in the local way that I'm doing now. Cover the shape and then you trim off the ones you want to use. But in a more professional way, just use your uh, tape to measure the, the, the shape and you will know the exact uh, length of material that you will cut. And when you are cutting it, you cut it in a square. But I'm not using that principle. So I just like cover on it and then trim off. After which I will just use my hot uh, my uhu glue together with the hot glue to give it a perfect uh fitting so let's just wash
Thank you.